Hi friends, I wanted to share with you today my typical web clipping workflow. So this is not going to be a setup video. It's just going to be my workflow that I use on a regular basis for intake of information, <clears throat> getting that into my vault or my Zettel costume, generally speaking. So there's, there's essentially three applications for me that I use. Uh, Firefox over here for actually browsing the internet, obviously, and uh, clipping the information. The uh, information for each of the sites, the references, as you would say, goes into Zotero. <clears throat> and then I also eventually want all of the information in Zotero available in Obsidian, which is where I actually refer to the various uh, bits of information and may reuse it later. So uh, let's look into each of these uh, briefly here. So here's an article that I came across recently, right? If I want to save this article, which of course I do, uh, I'm going to come up here to the Zotero icon, uh, which right now it has turned into a document shape because it recognizes some embedded metadata. So I'm gonna click on that and it's going to default to save it right where I had it last time which is in my references collection, which is perfect. So that's right where I want this article to go. Uh, notice, let me bump over here, here to Zotero real quick. It automatically uh, highlights right where it saved it. And I can see that it actually saved a snapshot of the page uh, into my vault. Now this is an HTML snapshot. It includes the uh, link to the uh, site. So I can always get back to it if it happens to still be around at that, at that point. But notice that it also automatically pulled in the author and the title and various information about um, the page. Now, this doesn't work that well for all sites, but some of the major news sites, it picks those things up, journal articles, those sorts of things. It picks up all of the metadata and just drops it into Zotero automatically. Now, for some articles, this is all I really want. I don't want to do anything more than this. I really just want a record that, oh, I read this, and at some point, something may trigger in my mind, and I will flip back and try to find it. But in other cases, uh, like in this case, perhaps, I, I might want to actually save a PDF copy of this that I might want to uh, highlight, actually. So what I'm going to do with Firefox, anyways, I'm going to toggle Reader View, which is going to get rid of all those ads and everything else that you see on the side. right? And now I just have the text of the article itself. And so then I'll go ahead and hit Control P. And I'm going to save this as a PDF. Click on save. By default, this is just going to drop it into my downloads folder, right? So I'll click save there. Give it just a minute to actually kick it out to PDF. And now over here in Zotero, I can right click or uh, double click, come over here to attach new file. And what this is gonna do, it's gonna look in my downloads directory and it's gonna find the most recently modified PDF file and it's gonna to try to attach it. And sure enough, it found the right one. So I click on okay. What this does is it copies it into my vault where I keep all of my PDFs and it names the PDF according to uh, the standard that I have defined, which is author, last name, short title, and then year. Uh, so now I've got this available. I can double click it right here, open up the PDF. If I actually want to like, go through and highlight particular things, then I can do that uh, pretty easily, right? So we'll go ahead and I'll highlight this particular portion just for uh, example purposes. I'll save that out and close it out. And now I'm done with that article. I can right click again on this PDF and I come down here to manage attachments. And when I click on extract annotations, it's going to look through all of my highlights. And now it's going to create a note file in Zotero for me that has exactly what I highlighted. So here's the note file, extracted annotations. Here's my highlighted section. And here's a link that will actually take me directly to the page in the PDF where I made that annotation. So that's really handy when you've got longer articles or books even. This will actually open up directly to the second page and show me my highlight. So that is really, really, really helpful. All right, so so far that's Firefox, that's Zotero. Where does Obsidian come into this? Well, there's two different areas that it can come in. So first of all, what I have set up is called the citations plugin. So that's this one right here. 
And this allows Obsidian to look at Zotero's total list of references and allows me to interact with any of them however I would like to. Let me just move my little face out of the way here. So let me close this back down and I'll show you how that works. So let's say I want to insert a reference to that article that I just read. I just hit um, control shift E, which opens up my little um, prompt. What reference do I want? And let's say, well, is that article the best? Art of Windows, here we go, is a revamped Windows Linux subsystem. There we go. So notice it uses the same citation that I have configured over here in Zotero. So the citation key, that's exactly what it uses to insert it over here. Now, right here in Obsidian, this would actually be a dead link. If I clicked on that, uh, you wouldn't actually get anything. And if all you want to do is actually interact with your Zotero um, references and put something like that in there, then you're done. You don't have to do anything else. In my case, I actually want all of my Zotero metadata for all of the references. I want all of that in uh, my Obsidian Vault directly. So what I do when I'm done with something like this is I right click on here and I'm using something called an MD Notes plugin. And I come over here and click Create Full Export Note. This is going to create a markdown file in my Obsidian Vault of this particular reference. So now it's done that already. I can now click on this. And now it's going to give me all of the metadata that is in Zotero. So for example, this has given me an alias with the full title of the article. So now I can refer to this either by the citation key or by the full title of the article. And then of course it gives me various information, including the authors, gives me the URL, gives me a link to it. This will open it directly in Zotero locally or Zotero on the web. And notice that it also gives me a link to the PDF attachment. So I can click on this and it will open it up uh, from my file system. And then the best part is down here, my annotations actually come directly into Obsidian based on that note. And furthermore, again, notice this link. When I click on this link, it opens up the PDF automatically and it's gonna to scroll to page two. You'll see that here in a second and it's gonna show me my highlight right there. So this is my typical web uh, clipping workflow. Works great for articles, anything you wanna save and interact with later. Hope that's helpful to you. If you wanna know how I actually configured all of this, let me know and I can uh, create something that shows you how to set all of that up.